Hey everyone, welcome to Patrick Duga Music. Today we're going to learn how to play At Last by Etta James on the ukulele. Please remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get started. Okay, so getting started, we need to know 17 different chords on the ukulele to play this song. Let's start off with the F major chord. If you already know these, that's great. You can go ahead and skip ahead. If not, we're going to learn them right now. So F major, go ahead and put your index finger on string 2, 1st fret, and put your middle finger on string 4, 2nd fret. We're going to strum all the strings here. Up next is an F7. Fingers 1 and 2 can stay in place, and I'm going to add my ring finger to string number 3, 3rd fret. This is an F7. After that comes a B flat 7. This is a bar chord, so your index finger is going all the way across the first fret, and your middle finger is going on the second fret, string number 3. Remember, we count the strings from the bottom up, so string 1, 2, 3, second fret. This is a B flat 7. After that comes a B diminished. This is a four finger chord. Um, it's actually easier than it looks. Your index finger is on the first fret, string number four. Middle finger is on the first fret, string number two. Ring finger is on the second fret, string three. And pinky finger, second fret, string one. So this is B diminished seven, strumming all the strings. After that comes a, a new F chord, a different type of an F chord. It's F major with your um, index and middle fingers like we had before. And this time I'm going to add my pinky or my ring finger down here on string number one, third fret. So this is just a different way to do F, but it's going to sound nice in certain parts of the song. Okay, after that comes a D7. This is a bar chord. Go ahead and put your index finger on the 2nd fret, barring all the way across, and your middle finger goes to 3rd fret, string 1. That's a D7. Up next is a D flat 9. We're going to slide this D7 chord over 1 fret to the left, and add our ring finger on string number 3, third fret. And this is called D flat 9. After that comes C7. We just need one finger. String 1 first fret for this one. Cool. Followed by a D minor 7. Put your index finger on string 2, first fret. Middle finger goes to string 4, second fret. Ring fingers on string 3, 2nd fret. And pinky finger goes to string 1, 3rd fret. Strumming all four strings here. This is D minor 7. Followed by a G minor 7. We're going to bar strings 1 and 2 with our index finger here. And put our middle finger on 2nd fret string 3. Strumming all the way across the strings. This is G minor 7. After that comes in E7. I have my index finger on 1st fret string 4. Middle fingers on 2nd fret string 3. Ring fingers on 2nd fret string 1. And we're strumming all the strings. That's E7. The next two chords are kind of easy. It's A minor, which is just, I'm going to use my middle finger to pull down the second fret on string four. And then let go and just strum all the open strings. This is A minor seven. Cool, just a few chords left here. C major seven. Put your middle finger on second fret string one. followed by a G7. This is like a backwards looking G chord, so I have my index finger on 1st fret string 2. 
My middle fingers on second fret string three and my ring fingers on second fret string one. Strumming all the strings. Two chords left, a C sharp diminished seven. This is just two fingers. I'm gonna use my index finger on first fret string three. And my middle finger goes to first fret string one. Strumming all the strings. And the last chord here, F sus two, this is gonna be our ending chord. I just need to hold down string number two inside the first fret and strum all the way across. All right, so here's these chords one more time. You can hit the pause button if you need to work on these a little bit. Also, it's worth noting that we are not gonna be playing the single note um, instrumental melody part that's in the intro and the outro in this lesson. We're just focusing on the chords and the lyrics. So I encourage you to learn that single note part on your own if that's something you're interested in. All right, but let's begin with the intro here. We're gonna start on an F major chord and strum this two times. Now turn this into an F7, add your ring finger on third fret string three, two times here. Up next comes B flat seven. It's a bar with your index and your middle fingers on second fret string three. Going to a B diminished seven, we need all four fingers in the first and second frets. Two strums there. Here comes the alternate C major chord, right? I'm doing a C major with my index and middle, and then I'm adding this higher note here on string one. I'm gonna use my pinky, that feels comfortable for me. You can use your ring finger though, or pinky, whichever one works better for you. Cool, so this is an F major chord. I am calling this, um, it's a little bit of a typo, but in this chart, it's being called F over C. That's actually a holdover from the guitar lesson I did for this same song. So let's just call this an F, um, an F major. This note on string one is, is a C. So we can call this um, F major with, with this high C note included. But let's just call it an F major. Two times there. And then D7, we're gonna strum twice. Remember this is a bar on the second fret, plus middle finger on the third fret string one. Then slide this to the left, one fret each, and add your ring finger onto string number three, third fret. Strum this twice, this is D flat nine and then out to a C7 with just this one finger. We're gonna strum that and let it ring. Let me clean up this chart real quick. All right, so I put a little star next to the F where we're doing the alternate voicing and change the rhythm there for that last C7 chord. Let's play this intro part again. So we start with, this, with an F major. We're gonna strum this two times. Ready, go, is F twice. Add the ring finger for F7. Two times there. Then B flat seven, bar chord, fingers one and two. Two strums to a B diminished seven. Getting all four fingers in there. Two times. Here's the alternate F chord. I'm using my pinky on string one. D7, fingers one and two on the second and third frets. Two strums, slide this over to the left. Is a D flat seven, add your ring finger to third fret string three makes it D flat nine. Two strums there, and then a C7 and let it ring. Let's try that one more time, up to speed. Starting with the F, ready, go, is F twice, F seven twice, B flat seven, 
B diminished, F with the pinky on top, D7, D flat 9, C7. And then we start in on verse number 1. Now a quick note about the timing in this song. Um, it feels like the song is in a slow 4-4 four, four time. Because it sounds kind of like 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. But it's actually in a time signature called 12-8 time. Um, that would feel very similar to 6-8 time. That's because those long quarter notes are getting divided into three, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, so that division there, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So each one of these slow pulses that we were counting in four, one, two, three, four, is getting subdivided into a group of three. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's twelve eight time. So we start in on verse number one. And we need F, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7. So take a second with these chords. Make sure you know F, D minor 7, G minor 7, and C7. Hit the pause button if you need to. Let's check it out. So we start on the F. Two, ready, go is two strums on an F. Two strums on the D minor 7. Notice I kept fingers 1 and 2 in place. G minor 7. Fingers 1 and 2 again. C7, just your index finger. And we're going to do that sequence again. F major. Keep those two fingers in place. Add the ring and the pinky. D minor 7. Going to bar the index. Drop this middle finger down, this is G minor 7, C7. Do it again, F, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7. And now we're at the end of this verse where the chords are a little different. It's going to go F major twice. D7 bar chord twice. This is on the second and third frets. Slide this over a fret. Add your ring finger onto third fret string three. This is D flat nine again. And then C7 there, two times. All right, so notice that we did this first progression, F, D minor seven, G minor, C7. We did it once. We did it twice, we did it a third time, and then the chords at the end are different. Okay, let's try it again. Here's these chords real quick. Okay, here we go. Verse number one starts on the F. Ready, go is two strums on an F, two strums on a D minor seven, Two strums on a G minor 7, C7. Again, F, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7. One more time, F, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7. Here's the last part of the verse here. The turnaround is F, D7 bar chord on the second fret. Slide this over to the first fret. Add your ring finger. 
And then I'm gonna slide over one more time to get the C7 with my middle finger. And verse two is gonna start off the same way. We start off with the same progression, F twice, D minor seven twice, G minor seven, C seven, then we're gonna do it again. F, D minor seven, G minor seven, C7, and we're gonna do it one more time, is F, D minor seven, G minor seven, C7, and then these chords at the end are different. They're different than they were the first, uh, in the first verse. So it's F again, twice, B flat seven, this is this bar chord here on frets one and two. Two times, and then back to an F for four strums. All right, so that was verses one and two. Pausing there for a second. Let's see if we can put those together with the lyrics. Here comes verse one. On an F, two, ready, go. At last, D minor seven, G minor seven. My love has come along. D minor seven, G minor seven. My lonely days are over. D minor seven. G minor 7. And F is like a song. D7. Slide it over. D flat 9. Slide it over one more time. C7. And we're going on to verse 2. Ready? Go. At last. D minor 7. G minor 7. The skies above are blue. G D minor seven again. G minor seven. My heart was wrapped up in clover. D minor seven. G minor seven. The night that I looked at you. B flat seven to F. All right, we're heading into the bridge section next, which has some different chord changes to it. It starts off with a G minor seven. So remember, this is this bar um, on the first fret, strings one and two, plus our middle finger on string three. We're gonna strum this twice. Then go to the C seven, that's just a one finger chord twice. Back to F. Fingers one and two stay put. We add the ring and the pinky for D minor seven. Now we're on the second line. We need an E seven. Remember this one from the beginning. We're doing two strums here. To an F seven, back to an E seven. Cool, let's review those chords real quick. So, that was an E7, two times. So that was an E7, two times. F7, back to E7. So the F7 was just once, and then the last E7 was just once. Let's try that again. E7 twice. F7 once, back to E7 once. Cool, from there it goes to an A minor twice, and then let go A minor seven twice. So this 
scrolling back down. That was this line here. After that, we're going to D minor 7 again. Keep your index finger in place and make a G7 here. It's like the backwards looking G, or backwards triangle. And then let go of fingers 1 and 2, and we have a C major 7. And then for this C sharp diminished, put your index finger on 1st fret string 3, and your middle finger on 1st fret string 4. And that's a C sharp diminished 7. Then we're back to the D minor 7. Back to the G7. C major. Moving to C7. Right, so some new chords there maybe. Let's see if we can put this whole bridge section together. So again, it starts on the G minor 7. That's fingers 1 and 2. Here we go. 2, ready, go. I found a dream, C7. That I could F speak to D minor 7. Here's the E7. A dream that I... F7. Back to E7. Can call my own A minor. Let go A minor 7. Next line is D minor 7. I found a thrill, G7, to press my cheek to, that's a C major 7, adding fingers 1 and 2 for the diminished, back to a D minor 7, a thrill that I, I, I have never known, C7. Cool, and then we are out into the last verse, which starts on an F. Ready, go. You smiled, D minor 7, G minor 7. Whoa, and the spell was cast. F, back to a D minor 7, G minor 7. And here we are, one more time, in heaven, D minor 7, G minor 7, for you are mine. And then the outro is like the intro, same chords, starts with an F, at last, F7. Barring for B flat seven, B diminished, F with the C on top, D seven, slide over a fret D flat nine, slide over one more C seven. Last chord is going to be F sus two. We just need this index finger here on string number two, first fret. Cool, so let me write in that last chord. All right, so coming back up to the top here, I would say that the most difficult aspect in learning this song is making sure that you know these chords. All right, so take your time with these chords here. Make sure you can play all of these. It's okay if you forget one or two of them from time to time, but you want to make sure that you know at least most of them um, before you play through it. That's just going to make things go easier for you. Right, there are some bar chords in here. 
um, with this barring technique, right, in order to get this barring technique to happen, my thumb is dropping down lower onto the back of the neck and my wrist is pushing forward about an inch or so. That allows me to get this knuckle out in front of the neck so I can straighten this finger out. If I don't have that knuckle out in front, it'll be really hard for me to straighten that finger. So if you're struggling with these bar cords, try adjusting your grip on the back of the neck and pushing that wrist forward a little bit. Alright, so let's see if we can put it all together and play all the way through this song. Right, so we're going to start off with our intro here. Starts on an F. Here we go. One, two, ready, play is F, F7, B flat 7, B diminished, F with the C on top, D7, slide over D flat 9, C7, let it ring. Here comes verse number one on an F. Two, three, at last. D minor seven. My love has come along. G minor seven. My lonely days are over. In life is like a song. D7, slide over. C7, at last. D minor 7. G minor 7. The skies above are blue. D minor 7. My heart was wrapped up in clover The night that I looked at you B flat 7 Back to F 2 3 4 Into the bridge Ready, set I found a dream that I could speak to D minor 7 a dream that I could call my own let go for A minor 7 I found a thrill G7 to press my cheek to Here's the diminished A thrill that I, I, I Have never known C7 And we're into the last verse Ready, go You smile D minor 7 Whoa, and then the spell was cast And here we are in heaven For you are mine Here's the outro At last F, F7 B flat 7, B diminished, F with the pinky on top, D7, D flat 9, C7, and on this F sus 2. Right now, I was just doing simple strumming, one downstroke for each slash. If you wanted to spice this up a little bit, you could do something like down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
right? So you could use that 12 8 subdivision down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Or you can just keep it with the simple strumming that we just did. Either way is fine. Right, so that rhythm down, down, up, down, 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 up, down would take up the same amount of time as the two slashes did. Let's see if we can play through this one more time with that strumming rhythm. Cool, so we're starting on the intro again on the F. Here we go. Two, ready, go, down, down, up, down, F7, B flat seven. B diminished, F with the pinky, D7, D flat 9, C9. Here comes first one, two, three, go, and last. My love has come along. My lonely days are over And life is like a song D flat 9 C7 verse 2 At last The skies above are blue My heart was wrapped up in clover The night that I looked at you B flat 7 Back to F 2 3 4 To the bridge Ready, set, go I found a dream that I could speak to A dream that I, I, I could call my own I found a thrill To press my cheek to A thrill that I, I, I have never known Last verse, F, you smile Oh, and then the spell was cast And here we are in heaven For you are mine Here's the outro. At last, F7, B flat 7, diminished, F with the C on top, D7, B flat 9, C7, last chord, F sus 2. Now I do want to point out one little thing here that I was doing from the B flat 7 to the B diminished chord, right? The B flat 7 barring with your index and middle, I was just adding my ring finger down rather than re rather than uh, moving all my fingers around to get to the B diminished like this with four fingers. I was just keeping this bar here and then trying to add my ring finger on string one second fret. So B flat seven, and then trying to fit this finger into that second fret there. I know it's a tight squeeze, but you ought to be able to make that. And then that might change which finger you play for the F for this alternate F chord. If your ring finger's already right there, you might just want to slide that ring finger over rather than using the pinky, but either way will work there. So great job on making it through that. Again, this song is all about the chords, so make sure you know these chords really well, and then you should have no problem playing through the rest of the song. 
Um, and then remember with these bar chords, keeping an eye on that finger. We want that finger to be nice and straight all the way from the tip of the finger down to the knuckle. We want to try to get that knuckle out in front of the guitar neck. Otherwise you're going to have a really difficult time with these bar chords if this knuckle's not out in front because you won't be able to straighten that finger. All right, so hope you enjoyed that one. Remember, we're going for progress, not perfection. So keep practicing, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.